Hey guys. So I'm excited to show you how I put together my daughter's kindergarten year last year. Um, you know, I guess you could call it record keeping, but we didn't, um, you know, file as a private homeschool last year. We didn't work with a charter school. We basically unschooled her kindergarten year, um, which is fine to do in California. Kids don't technically have to start compulsory school until first grade. So we just kept her home and kind of kept doing whatever we were doing. And meanwhile, I spent that year really paying attention to all of the natural learning and self-directed learning that was happening and took a lot of photos uh, every time, you know, every time I saw it. So um, I basically put together, yeah, like a scrapbook of natural learning. And um, it felt good just kind of knowing, um, having this to look back on to see where we're at and how prepared she is for first grade with the charter school that we're, that we're doing this year. So I hope you enjoy my kindergarten binder. So this is the binder that I used. It's um, a large three ring binder, you know, and made like a cute cover for it. Um, in the pocket there, I, you know, I just kind of saved a few things that were harder to store in the sleeves. Um, we did an apple juice stand and I had her paint the letters on each of the construction paper apples and then we made a calendar. And then I just have our previous year calendar in there. So this is our annual report. Um, you know, I've got curriculum covered, extracurricular things we did, what's new, the unit studies we covered, what I wanna review for next year and trips that we took. So this, this layout worked pretty well for that report. And then I use Evernote which is an app um, for, you know, just kind of like journaling about what Poppy's into that year um, and breaking it down by subjects. I just have this like character sort of review that I wanted to add in here. So then I break the binder into subjects. This first one is art. And I used Canva to compile collages of photos that show each of the, the ways that she's exhibiting her interest in art. So as you can see there, necklace sale, drawing, clothing design, lots of miscellaneous things. And then in Evernote, um, I, I kind of like every couple of months, I jot down a few new things that she has been excelling at, showing interest in, some new interests. And yeah, I really think that that is just a great way to log a lot of the things that we've been doing. Um, I keep all of her art in a separate bin, but then I put a few samples of some of my favorites. That's her, uh, her bird. Um, and then just a little craft we did at Thanksgiving. Um, we did like a thankful tree where we hung leaves and wrote things that we're thankful for. So this next subject would be science, science and engineering, you know, and it's really great when you look through all of your photos and put these together, you really see how much they are doing and how much they're learning and how much science is covered. I mean, animals, anatomy unit, flowers, herbs, building, you know, with Legos and things like that. Lots of experiments and the kids have been trying out their hand at cooking. And then again, went into Evernote every couple of months to just, you know, type up when I have the time, type up what she's been up to in regards to science. She's helping me out, turning these pages. We did a harvest party because we have a couple of apple trees and um, did, you know, put a couple of examples in here about some of the harvest activities we did. Did an apple juice stand. I 
And then the next subject would be writing. And um, yeah, so for Poppy, without doing many formal lessons, you know, she learned how to write her name. She is really in, interested in writing letters. She taught herself how to write all of the alphabet letters. And she doesn't write words yet, but she has these journals that she's obsessed with writing in. Writing Valentine's, um, a little bit of writing through our unit studies. The writing has actually been one of my favorite natural learning parts of her, you know, quote unquote kindergarten, because watching her teach herself how to write those alphabet letters without really wanting any instruction from me was, was really just fascinating and really cool. And then a few examples of her writing in the, the sleeve. <laughs> and then the next subject reading we haven't done any formal reading lessons yet we've been going through the alphabet letter sounds um, but we did do a lot of reading like things we a lot of read aloud you know we have a library we visit all the time we have spelling games um, encouraging literacy is just huge. You know, having everything um, out, like letters and the alphabet and books, um, the chalkboard. Yeah, so just a lot of an encouragement through kindergarten. Um, and then I would go through with Evernote and kind of write down the books that we had read that year, how often we're reading, um, what are some of her favorites. And then this... This is a cute, uh, she's been writing a lot of books lately, but I mean, just telling the stories, right? This was the first one that she ever did. And you can see, I definitely helped her out, did some of the drawings for her. Uh, Target has, I found, has um, some bear books. And then there's the actual company named Bear Books, I think it's called. Um, I can link it. They actually sell hardcover um, bear books that are really great for writing stories for kids. And this next subject is math. Uh, we didn't do any formal lessons for math in kindergarten. Again, you know, we were really, um, really taking the unschooled approach, but there was so much math involved in our kindergarten year. So she had a necklace sale, a couple of them, an apple juice stand. She is obsessed with money, so a lot of counting money. She's obsessed with board games. We had a rainy winter and spent so much time playing board games. A lot of math involved in those. And then she even designed her own board game. And then games like Blink have patterns, colors, and um, shapes. And like making the necklaces was a great way to show her pattern skills. I mean, yeah, there was actually so much math for no formal math. Um, yeah, and using Evernote again to go through every few months, write down how we are naturally learning math in our day to day. And the next geography is our next subject. Um, we didn't do a lot of geography stuff. She. I have the maps in the playroom. I have the globe. They really enjoyed doing this United States map puzzle. Okay, my daughter is sort of naked in this picture, so I'm gonna cover her up. Um, but you know, we have the maps and the globe in the playroom and the kids really enjoyed doing this United States map puzzle. Uh, we're gonna be doing a lot more geography in first grade. But she did show a huge interest in um, some places around the world, like France, uh, Costa Rica. Um, we did take a couple of trips in the U.S. And she was really curious about where those were in relation to where we live in California. She did learn about where California is on the map. And then I printed out a little map of our town um, with a couple of markers on it, like where the park is and where grandma's house is. Um, and yeah, she spent a little time looking at that. And then um, I put in a, a section here for life skills. 
we go. I thought this was an important section to include because, um, you know, there's so many basics that they're learning, like, you know, how to fold a blanket and how to plant seeds and set a table and, um, how to peel vegetables, how to use a knife, um, making flower bouquets, weeding the garden, dressing herself, washing her hair, you know, things like that. And then I included in here this chore chart. We don't use a chore chart anymore. Um, but this was her idea and she wanted to make money. So, and she picked out the chores that she wanted to do. So I thought that that was, that was really cute. 10 stickers for a dollar. Yeah, <laughs> it was fun. And then um, athletics. Poppy didn't do any kind of formal enrichment this year, but um, she is really into riding her bike. And we took her ice skating for the first time. Lots and lots of outdoor adventuring with her friends since we live in a really perfect place for that. And then she actually really got into yoga this year. She has a yoga teacher. She sees um, about every other week. And it's just a free offering in our community, which is great. And Poppy really adores her teacher. So she's found a mentor through that. And then the last section I have is for our unit studies. Um, this was maybe my, my one or my more specific attempt at formal education. Um, so we only did a few. We did an All About Me, Halloween, Flowers, Human Body, and Fairies. I tried to pick things that I thought she would be really interested in. And then I would set up a Montessori shelf with, you know, like hands-on play, books, letters, little activities, um, flashcards. Um, yeah, like little crafts things like that. Um, we didn't get super into our units. Um, I did really enjoy it though, and we're gonna go for it again in first grade. I have a whole year of unit studies planned that I'll probably do a video about because I'm excited about them. And then um, I saved these templates that I filled out for each unit study. I would do this before the unit study to help me prepare what I wanted to do on the chalkboard wall, resources that I already had and what I needed and field trips and videos that we wanted to do, um, what I would need for the Montessori shelf. Yeah, those really helped me stay organized. I'm gonna continue using those this year. And then from each unit I saved um, maybe like some worksheets that she had done, which again, we just aren't super worksheet heavy. Um, and then maybe like a couple crafts or activities or photographs from those units. A little popsicle fairy fence, fairy garden fence. Poppy made these Tinkerbell shoes out of real leaves. That was really fun. This was the fairy unit. She wrote a book. I'm just not going to take all that out. <laughs> she wrote a little book about a fairy story. Um, and then this was our flower unit. And then we had a Halloween unit and saved a couple of the Halloween crafts from that. And then I have, you know, a section for, for miscellaneous fun. Harvest party, our North Carolina trip. Harvest party was really, really fun. We're gonna do that every year, make that an annual event to help us get through our apple trees. Building fairy gardens is huge. She does that all around the yard. And yeah, birthday parties, camping, creek stomping, Disneyland. You know, it's a fun way to look back on the year and to see all of like the extra non-schoolish stuff that we did. Which of course is more than that, but these are just some favorites. 
And then, you know, before kindergarten, she actually filled out this um, learn to write workbook, but I honestly don't think that she really retained anything from it. She just enjoyed going through it and she went through it super fast and then she never touched it or another workbook again. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that. Good luck with your own system of filing or whatever you do. Hopefully, uh, maybe you got a couple good ideas. You can tell by my look that it is Friday. And have a great weekend.